All right, hello and welcome, Aries, to your new moon message tarot reading for November 2022. This is a general reading for your sun, moon, or rising sign. It may resonate with you or not. No problem. Take what you need and leave the rest. I'd like to thank you all for your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. If you haven't yet, please do hit that subscribe button and support us here at Raise Your Vibration TV. All right, Aries, let's get your card shuffle here for your new moon reading. The new moon is taking place on November 23rd. And it is being high, your ninth house is being highlighted in this new moon. New moons are an excellent time to start new projects, to do anything. Uh, it's a great time to start a business, get a job, start looking for better horizons for yourself. So this new moon is happening in your ninth house, and that has to do with education, trips, going back to school. Uh, you could be looking for answers in religion, philosophy, changing your viewpoints and seeking a higher purpose. And this is all coming forward to you. If you're planning on some trips, just be careful. This is about motivation right now. So if you've been thinking about going back to school, finishing your education, this would be a great time to really put the initiative forward and do it. All right, so let's start our reading. Good for you, Aries. Okay, three cards, please. There's two. Thank you. Can I have one more for Aries for November 23rd? Okay, look at that. The tower right there. All right, Aries. Things have not been the way that you've wanted them to go for a while. It's been frustrating. You know what I mean? The current energy here, and when I see the tower card right there, this is a call to the universe, to you, that things could be better for you in your life. The game, you could look at it as the game is rigged and it's not in your favor. So the universe wipes the board clean so you can go ahead and start new. So again, new moon, the tower, even though it looks like things are coming down, this is about building a better structure for yourself. Ace of Cups, new beginning. That is always a new beginning. So this could be a new love. This could be talking to someone uh, overseas, maybe a long distance relationship. You know, it, it may not be exactly what you want right now, but trust me, it will. And it will turn out into your favor faster, but we've got the King of Swords here. And anytime I see the King of Swords, that means that we need to really take responsibility for the way that we're thinking about things. And... With, with this kind of energy, you know, it's time to start changing our mind. Just like in your ninth house, the new moon is, is going to be in uh, in a few days. And that means changing your viewpoint, having an eagle eye view instead of just a one fixed view. So let's get uh, more cards and let's elaborate on this. Thank you, guides and spirits. Two more, please. Whoop. We're not going to take that. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Can I get two more cards for Aries for the new moon? Oop, that one flew out. And another one, please. Thank you. Okay. So in the middle here, we have the Two of Pentacles. And when I see the Two of Pentacles, this may be thinking, okay, so maybe you're thinking about going back to school, but how can I afford it? You know, this is trying to balance the books here. And again, we've got the Page of Cups here with the Ace of Cups. There is something on the horizon that's going to come here. And another thing I want you to notice is that it, the symbolism in this card right here shows when pigs fly. It's basically a pig with wings. So just when you thought things could, couldn't change for you, they do in a dramatic way probably. So go with these Try to find the balance. When I see the Two of Pentacles, what that shows me is we have some strict thoughts or rigid thoughts on money and manifesting money. Money is an energy form. You either attract it or repel it based on your beliefs. So you got to find a balance there. Get rid of that. Because if you really think about it and look in the universe, the universe is abundant it's overly abundant, and you have a right to that abundance. 
And this is going to be the month where you finally realize, I got to change some of my views here so I can move on. There's so much opportunity here. Ten of Swords means that you are going to get through this challenge. But this person right here is looking to the new horizon. And what they're also doing is the crows here symbolize your thoughts. That means that you are moving forward with not rigid thinking. So this event or something that occurred here, maybe a, a couple months ago, last month, uh, even this month, could make making you realize that, listen, I got to change the way that I'm looking at things because my thoughts create my reality. You have to understand that. The law of attraction says the things that you think about, you fixate on the most are the things that you attract in your life. Like attracts like. So again, you can get through this challenge. There's no doubt about that. But it's about time to start believing that you're worth it. All right, let's get three more cards to see how the rest of the month is going to go. There's one. We'll leave that. Thank you very much. Can I have two more? All right. One more, please. Thank you. Ooh. Excellent. Look at that. Two of cups. So we have the page of cups. Two of cups. And... <laughs> The two of swords. Look at that. Two and two. There may be a relationship showing up here. Again, this may be something from the past, but I'm going to tell you something. Again, you need, look at all the twos here. That's three twos. Two, two, two. Not a coincidence. Those are angel numbers. Pay attention to what's being told to you. This is a soulmate relationship. I really don't like using that word, but this is a perfect blend. We have trying to balance here and finding balance here. However, there is one scug in the, in, the, in the pie here, is that something in the past you still haven't gotten over that can lead you to this, which makes you indecisive. And you're not trapped in a decision. You just have to make one. And you probably have, you probably have been hurt in love or something like that. And now you have this fixed view that, oh, love sucks. Love stinks. I'll never be able to find anybody for my, for me. We're here to tell you that you've got to change the way that you're thinking about this. Look at there's swords all in this column. So it's all about changing your perspective. Take a different look at it, a different approach. Obviously this approach isn't working. So do the exact opposite. If you're stressing, oh, when's this person going to show up, so on and so forth, you're, you're putting out to the universe that you don't have what you want yet. So act as if. Work on this pain. Aries, you have to realize that in order to move forward, in order to get the perfect relationship, we have to go through some trials. Love is not easy, but when we find it, it's perfect. Let go of some past hurts. Just because one person hurt you doesn't mean that everybody's going to. Focus on the goal. That person's out there for me. Thank you so much for bringing that person to me. And this could, this could also mean anything, just not a relationship, but also a, uh, a new job or, or getting the confidence to go ahead and move forward. So this is good. It's showing that I think you're getting to the point where enough is enough. Again, this new moon is highlighting changing your viewpoints, getting a higher purpose. Stop feeling like you're trapped. Don't let your mind, you're very impatient. You're very impulsive. You love to start things, but God help you if you don't freaking finish them. And that's what you need to do. You need to start finishing your projects. Keep that momentum alive. You've got a great opportunity to do it. So let's move on to... The Psychic Tarot, I love these cards. This is one of my favorite decks. Um, I put all my decks in the descriptions in case you're interested. I absolutely am in love with these. I use these for readings every day, all day. So let's get three cards for Aries, please. Three messages. Oh, there's one. I'll grab that, but let's do uh, two more. Okay. Let's get two more messages for Aries, please. All right, throat chakra. We'll get to that in a bit. One more. This one seemed like it wanted to come out. Of course it did. 
Hold on one second. I'm going to grab that other card. All right. First of all, obviously, your thoughts are starting to wear you down. The best advice that the universe is trying to give you and your guides is this. Well, this actually wanted to go this way. Okay. Rest and rejuvenate. When I see this, that means that you're not grounded. Aries, you have a fiery passion in you. There's no doubt about that. However, there's one glitch. And that glitch is, is that you're very impatient. Patience is the key to this. Not only that, but you have to speak your truth. How can anyone know what they've done to you if you don't speak your truth? So this means to speak up for yourself. Have patience. Start making a plan. Instead of being impulsive, write it out. Pros and cons. What do I want most in my life? But you need some rest. Your thoughts are wearing you down. Your thoughts are actually an energy form. And if you're thinking about the past and past hurts, you're going to repeat those. So Aries, what I need to tell you is you need some rest. You need to take a little rest and work things out. Let's get three messages from your guides here. Three messages, please. Thank you for one. Can I have two more? Oop, there we go. Understand your body. That's what they want to show you right there. Understand your body. Listen to your body. Oh, you got four. Excellent. All right, let's do this. First of all, they wanted to say, understand your body. You have to understand what your body's telling you. You need rest. You need to rejuvenate. You need recharge. So you need to get grounded. Find some meditation. Uh, slow, deep breathing. Try brain heart coherence meditation. Something. Lead by example. Show everyone around you the pioneer that you are. Stick to something and go through it. Journey within. Go within. That's another thing. They're showing you that you need to rest and to ground. So go within. The answers are always within you. And you got this. And if you get stuck, the most important one they're trying to show you is ask for guidance. Aries, this new moon is trying to show you, hey, listen, we're still stuck in our ways and our thought patterns. We need to change things in order for our, vi our vibration to, to raise. And that is so important for you. I hope that you are blessed with many blessings. There's a lot of good energy here. But the main thing is you got to change your thoughts. Get some rest. Make a plan and speak your truth. And this month will be smooth sailing. Aries, thank you so much. Hit that subscribe button and we will see you next month. Thank you so much. Thank you.